Hi friends, welcome to Nikra's Expert Learning. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to analyze a RSTC beam using this GOM software. So here we are using GOM software 2022 to analyze the RCC structure we have. So in this case, we are analyzing an RCC beam. Okay, so before that, we have to process the video into images. Whatever the video we have recorded during the application of load on the beam, we are firstly converting that into the images. So I will show you the procedure one by one. So first comes the processing of the video into images. You can select any app of your choice to break down the video into images. But here in this case, I am using this free studio app, uh, wherein we have to click on this convert button. In the convert Under the convert tab, we have this option, see, free video to JPG converter. So we have to be clicking on this. But for now, I'll be showing you the procedure itself. See, this is the screen will be appearing after we click on that tab so here we have to be clicking on the add files first so that the whatever the video file is there we are inputting it okay so after that we have to be clicking whatever the time period we need it was the screenshot to be taken okay so here uh, after every one second i want the picture to be taken so click on the one second and click on the convert button okay once we click on the convert button the image would be there so here we can just click on the extract button and the images will be extracted to so guys once we converted the video in the set of images we have to process the image now okay so here i'm using this app called image j you can use any app of your choice in this case i'm using image j so to process the image i'll show you the procedure we have to click on file we have to click on open so whatever the files whatever the uh, images we have caught from that video i have copied it to this folder so the first key reference image is to be selected. This is the first image. Click on open. Okay, this is the image. So first of all, before doing anything, we have to be opening another tab in this. That is called plugin. Go to macros and click on the record button. Okay, this is the another tab we are talking about. Just keep it aside. So first of all, we have to click on image. Okay, first we'll crop it. This is the dimension of the beam which I want to concentrate on. Okay, after this, we are again going to the image tab, click on crop. So, this is the crop tab we are seeing. So, once we have cropped the image, then we have uh, like applying some paint. See, here I have already applied some speckle pattern on the beam. If you didn't apply, you can just go to this image tab over here, click on adjust. And go to color threshold remember so whenever we are we have not applied any speckle pattern on the beam we can just click on this color threshold so here we can just click on the black and white okay In the threshold color click on black and white and close this tab so this is the image guys because i have already applied the speckle pattern i'm not converting the image first now okay so just to make the same changes to the other other images in the same folder We'll be applying it. See here, we'll be going to, we'll be copying everything over here except the threshold. We'll just select the crop button. See here, I don't want every uh, every image in the folder to be applied with this threshold. That is why I'm not copying it. If you want, you can just copy that also. Okay. And after that, we'll be going to process. Go to batch. And click on the macro tab click on the macro so here in the input click. we have to be selecting the tab see in the beam 1 folder I have all the images okay see in the beam 1 beam 1 tab I'm having all the images so that is why I'm selecting that select that in the output also select the same folder click on select and you have to be removing this and paste the new data you have selected okay so whatever the data you have selected over here you have to be pasting it if you want you can also select the color threshold tab okay click on this and click on the process okay after you click on the process every image will be given this details okay but for now i don't want any color or cropping to be done to the image that is why I'm selecting the cancel tab. Okay, so this is the process, guys. Okay, I don't want it to be saved. If you want, you can just save it. 
okay next we'll see how to name how to name the beams so here in the this is the another software this is the third software we are using remember the first one which we used is the free studio to convert the video into images and the second one we have used is to process the image and the third one we are using is the bulk rename utility so this is the software which we use to rename them okay so whenever we are placing the images into this uh, software we don't want everything to be so confusing so first of all we'll click on this beam one every image in this would be cleared see we'll just click on control a to select every image in this or else like see i click on control a here we don't want the name to be kept okay if we want you can just keep on keep if you don't want the name click on remove tab and after that we have to crop has been done so we don't want that and in this we want some prefix to be done prefix with a tab of this mode we are providing with some suffix suffix starts with the number one 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 so this is the title which we want if you don't want this i'll just show you whenever we want a name say if you want some name over here you can just enter in the name tab everything would be copied so here i don't want this beam i'm just clicking rcc beam see this is the change everything we type over here the changes will be happening over here okay click on the suffix tab and after that whatever the number we have clicked which we provi provided over here okay then click on the rename tab over here i don't want it now so i'm just clicking it okay now so guys after converting and editing all the images so first of all we are now analyzing beam in the gom software so this is a starting procedure just for making you understand how to analyze the uh, like to get the images from the videos i have explained everything but uh, now we'll see how to do this click on the new project so this is the gom software interface in this we have to click on the option new project okay so once you click on this the new project will be open on the screen so from there we have to analyze start analyzing that okay so remember we have used three softwares first one to convert the video into images okay and the second one we have used to to edit the images okay and the third one we have used to rename that okay so this is the screen guys this is screen you will be seeing after you open the gom software okay so in this we have to be going to the file tab click on import go to file okay file important file so in this you will be clicking on this yeah in this you will be getting the screens over here so whatever the beam I have selected so this are the this is the images okay click every image in this folder but remember everything has to be selected in order and that is why we have provided the numbers see this is the first one second one third fourth so the order has been provided firstly click on the open button whenever we uh, like imported the file you will be asked this option click on the deformation image okay click on the deformation image now actually you can see the image that has been imported in this gm software this is taking some time guys you have to be working on it very patiently so this is it guys this is the beam which i have been using so okay first of all after this we have to define the scale okay go to the edit tab and click on this edit creation parameters okay go to edit tab and click on the edit creation parameters so in this edit point component click on the edit calibration remember edit calibration has to be clicked in this we have to be clicking on define scale so whenever we are uh, like selecting the points we are defining the scale 
we have to be selecting the center part of this speckle pattern see this is a speckle pattern of applied okay so in this we have to be selecting some line of axis at the center so first of all place the place the pointer the cursor on the point at which you want the scale to be taken okay click on that and click on the control button plus left mouse button okay see remember we have to be clicking on control plus left mouse button on the mouse you'll be having a left side button click on the control and the left mouse button simultaneously this point one is created guys see you can see this and in this you'll be going to the second point similarly click on the control button and control left okay so this is the reference point and if you think anything is not so perfectly straight select the point two you just click on this see it's going down whenever i'm increasing you can just reduce over here so it's going up similarly you can just adjust the point one okay so visually you can just see this and once you think it is done you can just click on the ok button over here okay you can just close this cap and next we'll be going to the editing button okay i'll show you how this we have to create a surface component now okay so for this we have to be going to the see this we have selected the second tab over here we are going to the surface component click on it it's taking time guys so in the the so here you can adjust it actually automatically it will be created See, whenever we are increasing it the all the green color whatever the green colored substances the surface components are there that are restricted so here we are just restricting the surface component to certain area okay so we are just selecting some commands over here see automatically everything is created And once you click on that you have to be clicking on create and close so you click on create and close so as we can see the surface component one has been created so firstly we have created the like we have to de define the scale and after that we are just creating the surface component and next we have the third step called creating like locating the inspection points so in this under the under this tab we are just clicking on this uh clicking on the inspection points so click on the point in inspection so here we have to be selecting two points the first point is the point showing the highest compression fiber which we have taken into consideration the second point will show the tension reinforcement region so here we have been provided the tension reinforcement at this point so whenever we have selecting see just for you to understand click on control and control to see the point okay control and control whenever we are seeing this i will show you see whenever you are clicking on the control plus control it will show you a preview okay and the control plus left mouse button see on the mouse click on the left button and the control button simultaneously will create the element so first of all a point here i am seeing it okay now it is created and next let us see the second point click on the control and control to see the button so here i am just clicking control plus the left mouse button so this is the second point we have created so as you can see the point 1 and 2 the inspection points have been selected if you want you can just select any other points but for in this case i just want the points to be considered as compression fiber and the tension fiber or the, fi the or the fiber at which we have provided the reinforcement so after that we have to go to the results so click on this click on the epsilon rate x and y that is the strain components in x and y direction so this is it guys so first of all we are analyzing the structure 
so at the stage of the beam see here the, these are the stages provided whatever the time here we have seen see you can just see the vertical line over here the brown colored okay so this line will represent at which section or with which point we are analyzing the structure see initially we don't have any cracks in this so you can see so it is very less it's almost like green and yellow it is almost to zero okay but whenever we are clicking we are going to the next phase see it's going near blue so it's blue like it is almost to the end of the section so wherever the stresses are maximum the strains okay as you can see with the variation of the time or the deformation whenever the deformation is increasing you can see the results so this is the maximum point guys that is at this stage see even here we are able to see the screenshot numbers what I, see this is a number 1164 that is at the image 164 we are analyzing this beam okay with with respect to the colors here you can analyze it okay and also if you want any other data like strain rates or acceleration the velocities you can just click here so with respect to your requirement you can just click on this okay guys this is it for this video if you like this video or this find this video to be useful please click on the like button share button and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel guys your subscription would greatly motivate me i appreciate you watching this video guys thank you